Hey guys, received a call from a customer that happens to be a repeat customer that her front load washer won't do anything. It won't start, won't drain, won't spin. Here are the top five reasons that most front load washers won't drain, spin, or start. Defective door latch, broken dry belt, number three, a damaged stator or rotor, Number four, defective drain pump or a defective control board. Here's the front load washer that I went out to see. As you can see on the control, it's flashing 36. So all I did was change the washer to a wash cycle. Normally, I use what the customer uses, which is the normal cycle. Now, I'm going to pause talking. I want you to hear this. If you cannot hear that, it's making a humming noise, which really is an easy fix. So our next step is to go to the back, and we're going to remove that back panel. And I'm just showing you a couple of Phillip head screws that you need to remove. And then we're going to access the problem. So what we see here, and it, because it was making a noise, 90% of the time is the drain pump. So I want you to hear this noise, and I want you to do this safely as we determine where the problem is. As you can see, when I apply pressure to that drain pump housing, the noise is diminished. So that tells you from start that here is our problem, and that's what we're about to fix right now. So our next step is to drain the water out of the washer. And I apologize, I didn't show the picture of me unplugging the washer, but make sure you unplug it before you start to repair any appliance. Also, turn the water off before you replace that main drain pump. Your next step, I always pull the drain hose out of the drain pipe and I place it into a bucket. In this case, it's the bottom of my shop vac, which I always use to finish draining the pump. I'll show you shortly. Now, I also place a towel under the drain hoses that are connected to the pump. This is just extra security. Here I'm pointing to the two clamps that we're going to remove before we remove the uh, drain pump. You can remove those clamps, those hose clamps with a pair of pliers. This is the drain hose. And what you're about to see is there is water remaining in the tub. So I use my shop vac to get that remaining water out of that pump. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess. The next clamp we're going to remove is the tub hose clamp. Now, I want to give you a tip here. Do not remove the main clamp under the tub if you do not have to. It is a nightmare to put back on. Now that we've removed that clamp and removed that tub hose, there are three Phillip head anchor screws that need to be removed that are at the bottom of the drain pump, which is the drain pump plate. As most of you already know, I like to use the Bosch cordless drill. It works for me. You can use a regular Phillip head screwdriver or any type of drill with a screwdriver head. All you have to do is remove the anchor screws and then the whole pump along with the plate comes out of that washer. Now you do have to disconnect the harness that's attached to the drain pump which is right here. All you have to do is squeeze that clip and then pull back and that harness comes off pretty easily. And then at that point, you will be able to lift the drain pump completely out of the washer. Now, once you remove that drain pump, of course, this is what the inside base of the washer looks like with the pump removed. Here's the new part that you're going to replace it with. 
I'll place a link below where you can get it pretty cheaply. Also, that's the old one, and this is the new one. And all we're going to do is just remove the old pump, put on the new pump. To remove the defective pump, there are three Phillips head screws that you need to remove. And one of them is also holding on the cover that covers this drain pump to protect it from water. So once you remove those three Phillips head screws, then that cover comes off and the pump comes apart, which you're about to see here. So again, we removed the screw that was holding the cover on the pump that was protecting it from water and any type of damage. Also, once you remove the remaining screws, this is what it looks like. Now you need to make a note of how that pump was disassembled or you're going to put the pump on incorrectly and it will leak. Before I show you how to reassemble the pump, if you notice where this arrow is pointing, there's an object, debris, that is inside of the pump housing. This is what caused the pump to become defective or damaged and would not allow it to drain. Of course, we're going to remove the object. We're also going to look into the port of that pump housing to make sure there's nothing else in there. Now that we're about to install the new pump, I want you to see this rubber gasket that's around the front part of the pump motor. It must be there or the pump will leak when you go to reinstall the new one. Also, the notches must seat firmly inside the pump housing. So we've installed the new pump and this is what it looks like. Now that you put everything back together, you turn the water on, make sure it wasn't leaking, we always check our work. So now you see that the washer is spinning. You've already put it on a short cycle. I normally recommend quick wash. If you want to do the whole cycle, that's up to you. Thanks again, guys, for watching my video. I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Also, if you want to see future videos, subscribe, and we'll get them out to you as soon as we can. As always, be blessed and be encouraged.